Welcome to a tutorial about using the appointment scheduler. We know you're busy and being unemployed can be stressful. We're here to try and make this time as easy as possible for you. You will need to schedule an appointment at a WorkSource office only if you received a letter in the mail from the Employment Security Department. The letter says that you must schedule and attend an appointment at WorkSource before a certain date. In this video, we'll show you how to schedule that appointment at a time that's convenient for you by using the appointment scheduler. We're glad that you're coming to WorkSource, and at your appointment, we'll discuss services and resources that can help you return to work more quickly. To start, go to the website address in your letter, scheduler.esd.wa.gov. You'll need a Secure Access Washington or SAW account in order to sign in and schedule your appointment. If you applied for unemployment benefits online, you already have a SAW account. You also might have a SAW account if you renewed your driver's license online or used other online state services. If you don't know whether or not you have a SAW account, select Check to see if you already have a SAW account. If you don't have a SAW account, select Create a SAW account. If you have a SAW account, select Sign in to the Appointment Scheduler. Enter your SAW username and password in the Sign in box. Once you sign in to the scheduler, you'll see your dashboard. You can always return to your dashboard by selecting the Home link in the upper right corner. The dashboard shows your name, contact information, and the name of the WorkSource office closest to you. Select the WorkSource link to see the office address and hours of operation. You can schedule your appointment at a different office if you want. We'll show you how to do that later in this video. Note the date in the middle of your dashboard. You must schedule and attend your appointment on or before that date. That's very important. To schedule your appointment, select Schedule to go to the appointment calendar. Use the two drop-down arrows at the top to see appointments in other WorkSource offices. Use the two arrows on the calendar to see prior or future months. But remember that date listed on your dashboard. You must schedule your appointment on or before that date. The calendar works in two ways. You can view all appointments for an entire day by selecting the date itself. The details for all appointments on that day will appear below the calendar. Or you can simply select an appointment time. The details for that one appointment will appear below the calendar. To choose an appointment date and time, use the Select button to start the schedule process. On the next screen, select Save or select Cancel to return to the calendar and choose a different appointment date or time. The next screen confirms your appointment. You can print it if you have access to a printer, or you can send the confirmation to your email. You also can return to your dashboard from this screen. Let's do that now so we can show you a few more quick tasks you can complete. From your dashboard, you can update your email address and phone number by selecting My Profile. Updating your information here will not change it on your unemployment claim, however. If you need to update your profile information on your claim, go to eServices or call the Claim Center at 800-318-6022. From your dashboard, you can also view three things. Your event history, which shows you the reemployment appointments that you have scheduled or attended. Your correspondence history, which shows letters and emails you received from the Employment Security Department about your reemployment appointments. Your activity history, which shows when you logged in to the appointment scheduler and other website related details. If you need help with the scheduler, select the help link in the upper right corner. You'll find a video introducing you to WorkSource services, links to this video in English and Spanish, and common questions about the appointment scheduler. Selecting the Help link opens a new tab on your computer and takes you to the Employment Security Department website. The scheduler will stay open, though. To return to it, just select the Scheduler tab. If you don't find the answers to your questions there, go to a WorkSource office near you for help. 
You can find a list of WorkSource offices across the state at WorkSourceWA.com. Select the Resources tab and choose WorkSource Locator. Choose a county on the map to see all the offices in that county. Thank you for using the Appointment Scheduler and good luck with your job search. Your knowledgeable WorkSource staff are there to help you.